Hi, you guys. It is me, and I'm currently with my girl again. Um, so we are on our way to this museum that we've never checked out before. I've never um, heard of this place before. I've never heard of it. found it. We, okay, so there's this place called the King William District here in San Antonio, and they have really beautiful, like, Victorian-style homes and, um, like, it's museums. Like I think it has some museums as well. historic district in San Antonio. Yes. And there's a, during, like, Fiesta, they have a parade in that neighborhood. They're, like, million-dollar old-fashioned Victorian homes. And they're like, gorgeous. Yeah. And the last time we ever went was, oh my gosh, that one time we went at night. And I, was, I told her, okay, so we were walking. Um, <laughs> it was just like us two, in like the middle of. We went to a cafe. I can't remember where we were at. And the cafe was right on the river. And, and the King William District was like right next to uh -huh. it. And I told her, it was literally just us two walking. Like no one was around. It was dark. And I was like, oh my gosh, this place is haunted. And like immediately she nah, was like, you nope. were like, you were like. <laughs> all like the King William districts like it's supposed to be haunted blah 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 and the minute and I, was like, I said it uh, whatever but then like we kept walking and then it just and oh, she was no. like nope nope it got going weird. back and we're going back around, I was like nope and she started like feeling the vibe but anyways <laughs> so we're going to um this place called the Villa Finale I think I'm pronouncing it right it's a museum and like this really pretty garden area um and we're gonna go take pictures because that's what we do every time we meet up that's what we do baby. every time we link up and then uh, oh she's getting a tattoo as well i'm gonna see her do, get an actual like tattoo for the very first time i've never seen anyone get a tattoo so super excited we have a fun day ahead or built in 1876. So, definitely haunted. <laughs> this is gonna be Bella and I in like 40 years. ceiling has some sort of like artwork. It looks so, so Victorian. Look at that, you guys, oh my god. This is so vintage. Look at that fake bread. <laughs> this is so cute. Apple slices. Oh my god. You guys, I love this room 
so much. Oh my gosh. This is the type of house I need. Where? Is that? Miss Stevens, I guess. Well, what do you know? Hi. <laughs> this reminds me of um of Belle's room in Beauty and the Beast, right? Yes. 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 So so cute. <laughs> I've always wanted a little, little thing. Yeah, a little wash station like this. See, the only thing different I would do with this room is make the wallpaper pink and put a chandelier up there. This girl. It's a little boring. <laughs> this isn't weird. I should be closer. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so there was a change of plans. We were gonna go to the villa finale, but it ended up being like, it was just really packed. Like you had to go buy tickets and there was a really long line because that was like the most popular um, museum, I guess over here in this area. So we ended up not being able to see that, but we got into this beautiful house called the Homestead. And this is where we're at right now. It's super Victorian looking as well. And I think it was owned by some like Germans back in like the 1800s. So that's nice. <laughs> but I, I'm vibing with this house, so I'm glad we chose this place. It's it's a nice location. Look how neat that is. And these are cute pictures. <laughs> that is so cool. It's like a mini version of uh, The Shining. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the Shining maze. That little area, not the, like this, not like the, uh, <laughs> not like the center section, but like up here, they burn. Like the balls of your feet? Yeah. It's like I have to do this now because I can't walk in the balls. Oh lord. We are back home now. We got here about like an hour ago. Um, we didn't end up going to get her tattoo because she's gonna go get in like 30 minutes, right? Yeah, at five like, like right now to go get it. Oh my gosh. You should just come with me. I wanna come, but like the cramps. <sighs> There's medicine. There. My face looks so bad. Seriously, you probably can't even tell, but my face is really bad. <laughs> Anyways, um, Stop it! You're ruining the take. You're messing. What do you want me to do? Like this? Up the take. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, why don't you show the vlog what you're gonna, what you're gonna get? Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's not gonna be. You'll you'll have it before I even post it. So. So I'm not exactly sure where the placement is going to be. Like it's gonna be right here, but I don't know how it's going to look placed there. I don't know if it's gonna like go on to kind of this part of my shoulder or if it's just gonna stay all right here. I don't know yet. Pedo light. Hold on me. Hold on. It'll be really nice. I got the um, picture. She'll show you a picture. I hope it's actually on me. Let's see. It. Let's see if it'll focus. Focus, focus, focus. Oh it's gorgeous. I love that. Thanks. I love that so much. It's for my sister. The rose is for Sophia Rose. Sophia Rose. Get mm -hmm. cute. And then I want to get my mom's name on my rib cage. Grace. That'd be pretty. Like right. I want. I want to get one eventually. I'm not gonna like tell people yet, but it'll be. How do you think? But out, there's like, a exactly chance that something's gonna happen next year. I think I know what you're gonna get. I that, think. Yeah, you you know. I know, but do you know where you want to get it? Or you haven't decided. I think I want it like on my arm. Like on my uh, like, wrist, on my wrist, like 
no, like wrist, maybe like like across the wrist, like, like right this. there, that area. <laughs> okay, but it shouldn't hurt too bad. Uh, something small and simple, and something that like later on in life I can tell my my grandkids what it means, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something significant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, anyways, uh, See, today was of, fun. It's actually kind of funny how. I used to make it, like, and I still, you know, all my tattoos are going to have meaning. Yeah. But, like, I really used to think, like, every single one of my tattoos had to have, like, a deep personal meaning. Mm-hmm. When really, like, like, it's kind of just cool to have some nice art pieces, yeah. like, on your skin. As long as you can live with, you know. Yeah, if you can live with it, then say, that's perfect. Everybody's going to say, well, of course you're going to say you can live with it now. You're 22. Like, but what about when you're, like, 60? Like, when I'm 60 and I'm wrinkly and whatever, like. Those are moments in your life that exactly. are marked on your. Exactly, and I'm that's still cool. going to, like, it'll be just a good conversational piece. My grandkids will be like, oh, this, this movie, this is what that, this is where my tattoo's from. It's from this movie. You should watch it with me. Like, yeah. hello. <laughs> it's going to be relevant. See, that's oh cute. And I, I like that. Because, I mean, it doesn't have to be necessarily deep. But it's significant in a way. So, yeah. Hey, you guys. I just realized I never made an outro for this video. So, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this one. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want to. And stay tuned for the next video because I'm going to be sharing something that I've been working on that I'm really excited about. But, um, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will talk to you all later.